Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at inserting images in tables in Microsoft Word. I have a new document open here. I'm going to create a 2x2 two two table. Just drag down on the bottom edge of the table, select the entire table and go to the layout options and click distribute rows and that gives me a nice proportion table. To add an image to this top cell, I'll click in it and choose insert and then pictures. Navigate to find the location for your pictures. I've got one here. I'll click on it and click insert. Now the image is quite large. It's from my phone. So I'll just drag on the corner handles to resize it. In fact, let's just make it two inches in height here so that we've got a fixed size for it. And it is smaller than the table and that's important to note. I'm going to add another image this time to this cell because we're going to compare these two images. We're going to do different things with them. So I'm just selecting an image exactly as I did previously. Let's go straight and change the height of this to two so that we've got two images side by side and they're behaving exactly the same right now. Now for this image, you'll see that it's not butting up quite against the table cell. And if you want that to be the case, this is how you'll do it. Simply right click on the table and choose table properties. In the table tab here, you'll see that there's an option. So we'll click on options. And what's causing this space here is this setting here. There's a left margin. There's also a right margin for these table cells. If we zero that out, you'll be able to get a image that sits right in the corner of the table cell. And you can see that this is a table specific setting. So it's been applied across the entire table. Now, if we want to center this image inside this table cell, I'll select the image and I'll go to layout and I'll click here on this center align or align center. When I do that, this image is centered inside the table cell and as small or as large as that table cell becomes, that image is now centered. And that's one way that you can get this sort of nice border around your images inside the table cell, make sure that they're nicely centered. The problem is this. When I try to add some type, it's not scrolling nicely around the image. It doesn't appear up here and it's pushing the image out of the way. The reason for this is that the way that Microsoft Word inserts images into a document. So if I click on the image and click on this little fly out menu here, you'll see that it's in line with text. What that means is that the image is being treated as if it was just a character like an A or a B or a C. And we can prove that. Let me just pick up this image and let's just go and put it in front of this letter A. And now we get this is image A park. And that's because this is being treated just like any other character. Just going to undo that for a minute. Let's have a look at this image. We can do something different with this if we want to be able to position it in the cell. And we do that by clicking this fly out and we're going to choose something like square. With this image's wrap set to square, I can now drag it into position so I can place it anywhere I want. The issue with that is that moving the cell around, changing the size of the cell is not going to change the placement of this image because it's been placed a different way. But let's see what happens when we add some type to this. In this case, the type is going to behave very, very differently. I can move the image around and it's pushing the type out of the way. It's not able to go over multiple lines because this is a long piece of text. But if I add a hyphen in there, you can see that the text is wrapping around the image. If I push the text further into the table by placing my cell pointer just in front of it and pressing enter a few times, moving it down the table cell, but I can also move it around and have the text appear scrolled around it. And that's because it's got this square setting. Now, if we were to choose something different, such as behind text, then the image will go behind the text. And so you can have this text over the top of the image, if you like. If you want it all centered, then you'd need to go and center the text itself. So we do that from the Home tab and just center the text and it will appear over the image or on top of it. 
but this is a much more flexible solution. Setting the wrapping to something like square or behind text is going to give you a lot more flexibility. In this case, you've got a image that's being treated like a character, a lot less flexible, but it can be used for other purposes. For example, if you always want your text and caption to be in the middle of a table cell, then perhaps leaving it as in line with text would be the better option. Just make sure that instead of having your text on the same line as your image, that you press the enter key so that there's actually a carriage return, this little enter key here, that's pushing the text below the image so that now everything in the cell, the image and the text is being nicely centered. I hope that this video has helped you understand a little bit about working with images inside word tables. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name is Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.